Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Mao Meow. So for today's video, it's about max, mean, and average function of Microsoft Excel. All right, so let's start with max. Max actually stands for maximum. So we use max function when we are looking for the highest or largest number in the group of numbers or range. So this is the syntax. It's max, open parenthesis, the first cell or the first number, comma, the second number, comma, and so on and so forth. So this can be a range or just a manual input of data. So let's try that. So for max, see, max, my first number is two. I'll just input random number that, I'll, that comes to mind. Five, zero, six, 10. Close my parenthesis and enter. So the return value is 10. If you, if you take a look at the numbers we inputted, this one. So it's 5, 10, 0, and 7, and 10. This one. So it, it gave us 10 as the largest number from the group. Which is actually correct because 10 is really the largest number from the numbers I've entered or inputted. Okay, so let's move on to the next function. So we have minimum. Min function returns the smallest number in a set of values. Min stands for minimum. So it's the reverse of max. For max, it's returning or giving us the largest value. Now for min, it's it will give us the smallest number. So let's try that. So min, then I'll just enter. A I'll just enter random random numbers that comes to mind. Say six, ten, seventeen, nineteen, two. 1, 0, 5, and close my parenthesis, enter. It gave me 0 because on the, my set of numbers are 6, 10, 19, 2, 1, 0, 5. 0 is the smallest number among the group. So that's how to use mean. Okay. This time, we have average. For average, it returns the average arithmetic mean for the arguments or of the arguments. So when we say arithmetic mean, that stands for... Okay, so when we say arithmetic mean, it's the uh, sum of all the numbers in a data set divided by the quantity of numbers in that set. So to explain further... If we have, say, these are the numbers, we have 2, 3, 4, 7, 8, 9. So, let's just do that. Okay. Now, I'm going to get the average of these numbers. And when we say arithmetic mean, we add these numbers. Right? So, we can use sum. Select this, oops, select this. And then we are going to divide it by the number of num by the number of terms by the total number of numerical numerical values that we have added. So we have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so we have 6. 6. So, our average is actually 33 
divided by 6. So that's 5.5. So let's check. Is using average function, are we going to get 5.5 as the average? So there you go. It's 5.5. Okay. So that is how to, um, to use or when to use average. So for average, it's just simply adding all the numbers and dividing it by the number of values added. Okay, so that's it for max, mean, and average. Alright, so this time we have a table here. So let's get the maximum, the minimum, and the average values uh, of this table. Just a quick exercise. So this time, let's do that. Let's get the maximum. Okay. Then, do not forget to select, of course, the numbers that we want to group and get the max number. Close our parentheses and so it's telling me that the maximum number from this group of numbers is 160. So let's see. If we are going to arrange this, will I have 160 as the highest number or largest number from the group? Let's see. Let me sort it by this. Okay. So yes, it's 160. Now, let's do the minimum. Let's find out what's the minimum number from the group. Okay, close our parenthesis and it says 10. Okay, let's check. Is it 10? Is 10 really the, the smallest number from the group? Let, let's sort. Okay. All right, then yes, it's correct. It's 10. Now, let's have the average of these numbers. So using the average function, oops, average, select our range or select the numbers that we want to add or get the average, then close parenthesis, enter. So it's telling me it's 79.87 it's just round this so how do we do that how do we round off our numbers we can just put that so there it's 79.88 so that is the average for this number if we are going to check this in the arithmetic mean operation so that is adding all this it's sum it's getting the sum of this values or numbers. Oops, let's extend it there. And we divide by the number of terms or number of numerical value that we have added. So that's 16 total. enter so there you go we got 79.88 rounded to two decimal places okay so that's it for this video so now you've learned how and when to use max mean average function in Microsoft Excel again max returns the largest value in a set of values Mean returns the smallest number in a set of values. Average returns the average arithmetic mean of the arguments. Alright, so that's it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel to be updated when I upload new videos. And might as well like this video and click on the notification bell. Alright, thank you for watching. For the next video, I'm going to discuss pivot table. Goodbye!